Hi, welcome to today's feature update for Bridge Operator Console for Ring Central. These are the new features that are available May 2021. To start, let's look at the Bridge License Manager. We've added a new tab called Organization Settings here. You'll be able to search for any user in your organization, uh, regardless of whether they've run Bridge Operator Console or not, um, select that user. What you'll get then is the user's permission and settings page. So settings to the right allow you to set default application settings for any user um, and force those settings if need be. So if you enable the force settings, the user won't be able to change it in the client. 39. Some of the new features uh, that you're allowed to enable would be our screen pop URL. So this can be set programmatically as well as um, access to Microsoft 365, predictive transfer, and the like. Uh, to the left of the settings, there's some new features here called permissions. So we've created a spot where you can enable permissions, such as the ability to see who other people are talking to. So not just in a call, but in a call, and then the details about the caller. Uh, you can also enable, if you have the M365 calendar sharing, uh, you can enable this to be able to see details of other users' calendars as well, not just the busy, free, out-of-the-office status. So this is all available uh, in the Bridge License Manager itself. From the client side, what that will look like um, is this. So we'll have the caller ID turned on for Melissa Went. So as Melissa gets a call, um, we'll be able to see, um, as a regular user, I guess, um, who she's talking to. And it'll look something like this. Uh, so you'll see Melissa, and you'll be able to see this. In addition to that, if you open up Melissa's contact card, there's an active call section available as well. So if there are multiple calls, you'll be able to see them here, um, as well as scroll over for details. So you can see the direction, duration, um, call status, you know, if it's on hold or connected, those sorts of things are all visible here uh, in the active call section. So that's part of that new feature as well. Um, another thing that we have done is we've added the ability to get the proper caller ID information back from a retrieved part call as well as a consult transferred call uh, that we've received. So in both of those cases, uh, Ring Central loses the caller ID information of the original caller, uh, and we have figured out a way to restore that. So as we unpark this call, you see it is restored back to the original caller ID rather than uh, the star 801. Uh, additionally, we have added a feature called Screen Pop. Um, what this does is it lets you push either the caller ID the caller ID name, or both, to a URL, and it'll open that in a new window. So in this case, we're going to push it to uh, a sample page where we'll display that name and number right here. So this could be a CRM system, some sort of other you know, customer management system as well. Um, once you close that, you're right back on the operator console here, and you can see our call is still here as well. Um, Searching now will include the email field. So if you are searching by email address, that will also work. Um, and the last thing that you'll see different on the client side is if we do a consult transfer, which is here, we will now have a DTMF keypad. So if we are talking to a machine and we need to push a couple buttons to get through the menu before we complete the transfer, um, we're able to do that now uh, on the front end. So this has been the new features available for May 2021 in Bridge Operator Console for Ring Central.